Good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, today is Friday, September 21st, and um, I'm super happy it's Friday. Um, like I said, I'm home a lot during the week alone, and I love Fridays because then that means I have two days with people that I love, um, and we are going to try to get to get, excuse me, Hope, hey, come here. Can you sit? Good girl. Yes. We are going to try to get together with Cassidy and Sonoma this weekend um, because I miss them and I want to hang out with them. And she actually invited me over on Sunday. We just need to figure out a time and if it's going to work at all. I'm not sure. Um, but that's really exciting. Because they're fun people to be around. Um, come here, Hope. The only thing is, is I don't know if I would bring Hope. Because we might want to do um, different things that Hope can't do. But, I mean, no, I don't know. I probably will end up bringing her. You want to go see Sonoma? You want to go see? You want to go see Sonoma? You want to see Sonoma, huh? You do? Oh, Big girl. Yeah, she loves Sonoma, huh? He was your first puppy friend you ever had. You ever had. And, um, she's getting, um, spayed next week, like I said, so I will be doing a, um, a video all about that as well, too. Yeah. You don't even know what's happening. And I think it's the time that most dogs get, um, get spayed, because even my brother's dog, who, who, well, he's not a girl, obviously, but my brother's dog, who is the same age and the same litter as Hope, um, should be going in for, um, his neuter soon, super soon. Um, and I know there's a lot of opinions about that, but we don't need, um, puppies, and we also don't need her escaping because I was doing um, um, research actually because it was weird because for like a few days there, um, somewhere in between the last vlog I just uploaded, um, she was getting like sniffed by Sully, but Sully is completely fixed. Like he's been fixed for years and stuff. Um, and then also Maddie was sniffing her butt too. And I'm not sure if that's just, you know, dogs like, hey, they just sniff each other's butts. You know what I mean? But I was looking, I was doing research and, um, uh, and they said that, um, they could emit like some smell or something. So I was kind of concerned that she was going into heat already, but I don't think so. Um, cause I don't see any blood anywhere or anything because they would be pouring out blood just like women on their, you know, stuff do. So, but, um, we're getting her spayed because we, we just don't want any puppies. Not that I don't think she'd make a cute puppy, but we just don't want anything. And, um, we are gonna continue with training, hopefully. Um, you know, I read a post the other day about how, um, some dogs just, like, give you signs that they don't want to go to work, and I don't really want to push her. I mean, I know I say all the time, like, oh, my dog is, like, so this or so that, like, you know what I mean? But I really do, I really do love her, you guys. Like, the last video you saw, like, when she was came up to snuggle with me, like, even if that was some type of behavior or something, I still loved that she was with me, you know what I mean, and 
it sounds weird, but I feel better with her sleeping in my room at night. Um, I feel like I sleep a little bit better because I have somebody there with me. Um, I know it probably doesn't make any sense, but that's just the way that I feel. Um, and yeah, she's a good, she's a good girl. Um, we get compliments on her a lot from different people. Um, like around the neighborhood, they say she's so cute. Actually, this one lady, actually, this was like a couple months ago. So like when she was really a puppy. But I guess, I mean, since she's so small, she looks like a puppy forever anyway. Um, she doesn't have those big, doofy paws anymore. She just has, you know, normal sized ones, I guess. <clears throat> um, but the lady, the lady was saying how... Um, you know, she's so cute, and my mom's like, yeah, we're hoping to train her to be my daughter's service dog, and she goes, oh, well, if she doesn't work out, then we'll take her, and we're just like, no, it's okay, um, and, uh, and then she goes, oh, I have a golden retriever, she's so smart, she puts her toys in her toy basket every night, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could train home to do that. But, you know, it, it'll just take time, you know. We'll, we'll do this basic puppy class because that's what they want, even though I feel that she knows a little bit more than that. But we'll see. We'll do it their way. And then we'll just keep building up on classes because you can never have too many classes. And then we will just... Um, we'll just, like... You know, I don't know. I, I would love to start taking her out in public. Um, I mean, the thing is, I like I need help with that, obviously. And my mother works. And, you know, it's, it's just a lot with time and schedule and, you know, people and whatever. Um, but I'm excited to see where this class takes us. Um, I'm also excited to see if I know anybody in the class. Um, not that I would, but, you know, you never know. Um, the last class that we were in at PetSmart, um, one of the students was the grandparent of a girl that I went to high school with. Um, so, we'll see. Um, and I'm not sure how much I can film in there because I really want to, like, um, focus and stuff. But I'll film what I can film. Anyway, she's starting to get a little bit restless. So we're going to try to do some training or some playing. Have my clicker. Yes, good girl. You heard the cooker, didn't you? Okay, guys. See you soon. What I'm talking about right here. Whoa. Yeah, you got your Sonoma dragon. Is that a good girl? See? He's sniffing her butt. See? They sniff each other. Yeah. And then Maddie just walks away. What do you think, Sully? So, I'm trying out the new chair again, and I'm honestly not really sure if I like it. Hey! You with squirrels, stop! I'm not really sure if I like it because it's super challenging to get into by myself um, and obviously we don't have the car for 
for it, but I wouldn't use this out in public anyway. Um, because I still like to sit in the front seat and listen to music. Um, and control the radio and stuff. And it's getting a little chilly out here, but we're gonna try to run around because she is bored. And, um, like I said, I'm just waiting for tomorrow, which is quiet. Which, hope, quiet. Thank you. Which is a, um, uh-uh. What are you doing? No. First of all, I don't even see anything. Secondly, you're nuts. I'm just waiting for tomorrow, which is a more concrete idea of what we're going to do. If she can even be around other people and dogs. Um, which I, I know she will. I'm just a little yeah. <coughs> apprehensive about it. Um, anyway, I just... Honestly, if it wasn't so expensive, I would just like send her away to a um, somewhere and get her trained but it's super expensive um, and I don't know I feel like that would affect the bond that we have or f or are forming in the last couple of months I hope horn by the way vicious watch out um and I honestly don't know how to use oops sorry bright lights sorry Cassidy um I honestly don't know how to use all these but there is if it would focus there is like a thing that you can go up and down with and I just press that so I'm gonna go back down um, there's a thing that I can recline the back of the chair forward and back like the entire thing and then there's also a thing that I can just um, do with the back itself and then I believe these are the foot plates to go forward like a little bit I guess I have the tiniest bit of a sore throat and I'm really angry um, and I don't know I just I don't feel good um, and I had to use my inhaler last night actually for the first time in a couple of months right now um, but this is basically what the bed I need to move because my foot got stuck Um, basically this is the back of our car. We have a stool so I can get in. We have a walker that I use sometimes. I was more using it when I got my dress fitted for my sister's wedding. Um, we have a portable wheelchair and yeah. Um, but the reason why I wanted to show you was because my mom has a co-worker that, um, works at a pet food, or a pet store, um, which is called Pet Value, and we got this new food to try for, um, Hope. It's called, um, Instinct, the raw brand, raw boost. It's high protein, freeze dried, raw, um, small breed, grain free with real chicken recipe, and basically, um, this is actually the same, oops, this is actually the same food that, um, 
her brother was switched to. I don't know if you guys have, oh, you guys have seen him in a vlog, but basically he looks exactly like her, obviously. Um, and it says it's made without grain, corn, wheat, soy, byproduct, meal, potato, artificial colors, or preservatives. And it says boost, which I don't really know if she's a small, but like, is she really a small breed? Because, like, I don't know, but, and basically, that's what she gets. Um, it says 20 to 30 pounds. Um, one third, one, one and one third, third, one and one fourth to one and three fourths cups. But, um, this is a, this is a, um, like a, a four pound bag. Because I can lift this with one hand. Um, I actually want to, hold on, I'm actually going to, so I can, no, let's see, if I put you up this way, can you see anything? But I think part of the I think, I think part of the problem for Hope as to she doesn't like um food is you know not that she gets people food or anything or you know not anything like that but I think it's because not you know not that I'm training with her 24/7 but I do give her like um treats and things so she may um, just be getting full on the treats, so we'll see.